Another Lick Friday. Well, not really, because in this lesson we're actually running through three patterns which will improve your soloing, if used correctly. So, you can use them in their entirety, going across all six strings through any of the pentatonic shapes. Um, you can use just parts of them, and um, I'll leave that down to you. So they're great to use in kind of those patterns, if you like. You do see a lot of solos and guitarists use them in a way where they go from literally first string through to sixth string, but it's down to you. So I'm going to leave that with you for now and show you what we're actually going to be playing. Here we go. <laughs> There you go. So if you did like that and you do like this video, please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that bell button for all the future notifications and um, yeah, following me on all the social media stuff. Visit the Patreon page and for the tab for this lesson you go to dansguitar.com. It's all on there, it's all free. Backing track coming up at the end of this video. It is free on the video, but if you want the full thing you've got to go to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash dance page. That's enough of that. The patterns are straightforward, just practice them slow, keep them even, and then that will be brilliant for you guys to run through. I'm gonna hand you over to the breakdown of each one. Here it is. Okay, the first one then, so. One of those patterns where you're just continually moving, as with all three of these actually, but we've got the first string is gonna be 10, uh, sorry, 13 and 10. Uh, all in D minor, and you're coming down four notes. And then basically all you're doing is starting from the last note, and then you're starting the sequence of four notes from the next note, then the next, then the next, then the next, until you get down to the no further, basically. So you end up with those four notes, that's 13, 10, 13, 10. Then you go first string, 10th fret, second string, 13, 10, and then 12 on the third. Back to the second string, because that's the next note in the sequence, which is gonna be 13, 10, 12, 10. Then it goes 10th fret on the uh, second string, which is 10, 12, 10, 12. Then 10, 12, 10, 12. 10, 12, 10, 12. 10, 12, 10, 12. 12, 10, 12, 10, 10, 12, 10 13. And then lastly, 12, 10, 13, 10. Okay, so that was number one. Number two is this. Basically, it's just three strings and you're hammering on your way through. So you've got 10, 13 hammer on, and then it's uh, 10, 12 hammer, 10, 12 hammer, and then you go back one string and do three strings again, following the shape of the pentatonic. Back one string, and then, and that's that. Easy as, right? But it can sound really smooth, so I recommend that hammer on as you go through. So just for strike the first note of each uh, string, basically. And then the last one is the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So you're starting with your 13th fret first string, coming down three strings with a pull-off. Again, striking the first note of each string. Going back one string. Coming down that pentatonic three strings again, back on one string, so it's this time third string, back one string to the fourth string, and that is it. So there you go. Hope you have fun. Back to me. There we go. So the end. Thanks very much for getting this far. If you did enjoy it, please do subscribe and hit the bell button for future notifications, and I will see you next week for possibly a Lick Friday, or it might be more of this sort of fretboard fluency stuff. We shall see. Good to mix it up though, right? Hey, nice. There we go. See you later. Backing track coming up in just a sec. <laughs>